Is this the beginning, middle, or the end? Hello, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Sil Sil, a weekly vlogger that enjoys traveling, weekly vlogging, lifestyle videos, and getting my life in order, but we'll talk about that later. Starting a series, kind of embrace the title Sweaty Saturday. I feel like Sweaty Saturday really fits because I like working out on Saturday, Saturday mornings specifically. I really feel like it gets my weekend started. When I don't, I don't feel so great. Can we make it a thing? Let me know. You already know by the title what I'm doing or attempting to do for a whole week, but we're gonna kick it off with a little bit of a haul because I wanted to just get a headband. I wanted a headband that was wide enough. Because of my twists, reversible. I got this from Target. Very overpriced for one headband. I think it was like $12. Why is it a $12 headband? I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Right, so then I was at the end cap at Target and I saw this 34 ounce vacuum sealed water bottle. This reminds me of brass knuckles. Anyone else? Do you see brass knuckles when you look at this? Okay, whatever. So it was $8.38, but it was marked down from $13.98, and it was originally $27.99. Then, Marshalls, I really only wanted the yoga block and or a hand towel. How big the bag is. Look at the bag. So I got this hot yoga towel. It is the same length as a regular yoga mat. It's in the color turquoise teal kind of vibe. And it's microfiber, lightweight, super absorbent, and it is quick drying. I saw this pretty yoga block. It's a lot heavier than the ones that I was seeing. The ones at Walmart I think are about $5. And I really liked the cork vibe. This happened. Do you see that? If you don't see that, you'll see it tomorrow. Black and marble yoga mat? What? Is this me in a yoga mat? Basically, I did the most today. That means I have to really work this week. Like, I gotta get it in. I wanna give you my game plan moving forward for the week ahead. So you get one free week at Core Power Yoga. You sign up online and then they send you in your email a free week. More than likely you'll do a walking class unless you're in New York or a few other states, I believe, mainly in New York, I think, that you need to really sign up for your class because of the waiting list. Luckily for me in Atlanta, I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna go 30 minutes early or so because of parking at the location I'm going to. I just wanna get acclimated, you know what I mean? I haven't been to a hot yoga class in about two years. And then when I did go, it was kind of farther away from where I live, which is why I didn't go often. So I decided to go ahead and bring this full week review of Core Power Yoga seven days. But here is the breakdown of the seven days. We're gonna work out Sunday and Monday, rest Tuesday, work out Wednesday, Thursday, rest Friday, work out Saturday. And that equals my full week at Core Power Yoga. And I think that would be enough for me to give you a review at the end of the week. And I'm gonna be starting the week with a lot of water. I've been drinking a lot of water today because I know I will be in a very hot room for an hour. And let me just tell you, I have been to a hot yoga class where I was already in the parking lot not feeling it. Went in there, didn't realize I signed up for an hour long class. I was done in 15 minutes, but I stayed for 25 and I was in child's pose for at least five minutes out of the 25. So really, did I even go to that class? So I'm just trying to make it through the, the 60 minutes. To me, that would be an accomplishment in itself. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Let's just make sure I leave the house on time. Good morning. So, it is Core Power Yoga day one day. And it is a gloomy day out. I am getting my stuff together. I have put my enormous twists up. And again, if you watch the vlogs, you know, these are bigger than I told her to do them, but 
fine they're here now I have the headband I tried it on it looks weird on but I know I'm gonna need it to preserve all of this so I'm not gonna put it on until I get into the class we're doing this this is a thing here we go okay I took my hair down because it was just too heavy I couldn't bear it currently at Pont City Market and I have found parking in a great spot. No car can really like bump me because it's a spot by itself. Core Power Yoga is behind me. Class starts in 20 minutes and I'm gonna head inside. Well, I need to pay to park. So am I closer? Eh, I'll use Park Mobile. I'm gonna go inside and go from there. Let's open this bad boy up. Can you see that now? But this is what it looks like. It's really nice. <sighs> Maybe I'll do two hot classes and the rest of them will be C1 because what I experienced today, I have no business in anyone's C2 yoga sculpt classes because I will just be in child's pose the entire time. My water bottle, amazing. Maybe three or four ice cubes in here and the ice melted, but the water is still really cold. Well, I decided to pull over so that I can really talk to you about what I'm feeling. Like, wow, I'm a mess. I knew that my flexibility was shot, but it was murdered. I don't even, wow, I have work to do. And it wasn't even a hot class. The room was not heated. It was warm in there, but it wasn't 95 to 103 degrees. It was, it was maybe, maybe 70s. It felt warm enough because within three minutes, I'm sweating. I can't tell if the other people are sweating because let's be honest, um, they're, can't really tell at first if they're sweating, but me, I can see that I'm sweating immediately. Till the girl in front of me and I was like, oh yeah, her back's sweating. Okay, okay, so it's not just me. But I have to remember, I have piled on so much weight that it takes so much more energy for me to do one pose. I don't know what this week will turn into, but I'm not where I was. I can tell you that. It was going a lot faster than I remember. Like <sighs> I did stay the entire time. That is a positive. Did, however, hit child's pose quite a few times because, okay, we've done warrior pose. Wow, we're doing it again and again. Wow, we're doing downward facing dog, upward facing dog. Wow, we're doing tabletop. And we're lifting the leg and bringing the leg under and over. And it's like, is this the beginning, middle, or the end of the class? I don't have a watch on. I can't tell by the weather outside because it's gloomy the entire time. I don't know if it is going by slowly or fast. That's... Okay. Hello everyone, it is day three, but day two of me actually practicing yoga, but it's technically day three of the free week at Core Power. Waiting for my class to start at 6.45. Because the weather is bad, I figured I would get here early, but I didn't anticipate being here quickly. I, I didn't I didn't really expect that. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch a couple of things I guess and then head inside it's actually right across from where I'm parked so if you know Pond City Market then you know where I'm parked and I'm not gonna pay for parking until I actually get inside because yeah we're not paying for extra time like I'm in the car stop I feel good about today I think for me I'm just telling myself don't let the hour intimidate you because you'll start thinking of how much time is left in the class if you're new to yoga or haven't been to yoga in a really long time you'll probably be thinking like wow 60 minutes and you'll think to yourself like okay well how long has it been has it been like 20 minutes already like 10 minutes so just really listen to your instructor when they tell you leave everything 
outside of the class outside of the class come in here free your mind all of that my instructor on Sunday was Brittany she was really good not sure if there was someone in the class named Sylvia or if she thought my name was Sylvia either way not my name I'm gonna say there's somebody in the class named Sylvia but she was like good job Sylvia and I was like is she talking about me because my name is not Sylvia. But either way, I'm going to take the compliment and dismiss the fact that maybe she thought my name was Sylvia. Anyway, today I'm going to do C1 again. And then tomorrow I'll attempt Hot Power Fusion by Candlelight, which I think will be pretty cool. Might not be good if I don't remember all of the poses by name. And it's going to be dark. But I figured, you know, I might as well give it a go in this week that I have of freebies. I'm gonna drink some water before I go in there and I'll talk to you after. <sighs> Nobody was gonna tell me I look thrown together with my jacket half off. Anyway, it's fine. This is not rain on my face. This is sweat, but the class was so good. I need to get home. I've been out too long. It's eight o'clock on the dot. Class was over at 7.45. We left a little later because of the weather and everything. There was probably all of five people in the class, which I don't know if that was better or worse, but I enjoyed it. And I don't know who I'm gonna have tomorrow. Okay, so it is Thursday. I am going to a hot power fusion class and I've done two C1 classes. I have a little bit of a routine under my belt because it's pretty much the same uh, poses that you're practicing in C1. Well, for the past two classes that I've been to. I feel really good. So we're going to see how today goes. I don't know if I talked about it, but my C1 that I had on Tuesday, was that Tuesday? Yeah, it was so good. It was great. He was actually subbing. He was from the Midtown location. I will leave his name on the screen because I have to look it up and he was talking about not beating yourself up about getting everything done that you set out to do in whatever amount of time that you allotted for it. It just happens that way sometimes and don't beat yourself up about it basically and take it one day at a time pretty much. It is a late class. It's 8 to 9 p.m. So yeah, let's go to core power. Um. Good morning. It is Saturday. I am already at Pont City Market for my last workout at Core Power Yoga for my free week that I've taken full advantage of. I feel like I could have done a little more, but you know, four classes in one week, I feel like is a good start, is a good base, you know what I'm saying? So I came up with a few excuses as to why I wasn't coming today. Here we go. I mean, I deserve a little extra sleep. Another good one. If I move slow enough in the morning, then I'll be too late for class. Do you get what I'm saying? Another one. I mean, I've already worked out three times this week, so... I've done well. There is an article on the Core Power Yoga website that says how to take full advantage of your free week. And it says to go at least three times. I did the minimum. So I can, I can relax, right? Like I feel like I could do that. No. So those were just some things that I was toying around with so that I could stay home. Obviously, I didn't stay home, but still thinking about it, even though I'm parked here 30 minutes before class. Still, you know, when I go in, they're very warm, welcoming. The staff is, people that are there are just kind of like in their element. They're not really trying to like greet you and all of that. And I have said before, I've been to another yoga studio in Atlanta before, and I do plan on going back to that one, but I need to create a schedule that makes sense because it is farther away from where I live. But I need to remember to pay to park this time. Yeah, I've been forgetting the past two times I've been here. Rock it back on fall, I can feel the falls. Take 
Class is over. I finished one week at Core Power Yoga. It is, it is done, okay? I feel really good about it. Today, the class wasn't as hot. I think the class I took, what was that, Thursday? I had Hot Power Fusion and it was hotter. A place where nobody knows It tastes so sweet When you combine you and me 